Went up to the Memphis Free Fest today in Bartlett, Tennessee, just right outside of Memphis. And always a crowd. This is the second time I've attended it. And just as much of the crowd as I expected. Hardly room to walk around. A lot of people. It's free to get in. It's free to set up tables. Free parking lot sales. Free inside sales. You got food. You just hang out there all day. Prizes constantly all day. It's a good place to go and visit if you haven't. Found a product that I have not seen before. Antennas is the name of the game in ham radio. And there's so many different ways you can make them. And I love when I come across something I haven't seen before. We're gonna look at what's behind me on the screen here. Cable help antennas out of Avon, Mississippi. Stan Jones is the owner. He gave us a little audio description while I videoed his product. It's really neat. And we'll go over some more of it here in a little bit. Take a look. Yeah, this is our 160 meter sloper or half sloper. Made for folks that don't have enough space for a uh, full-time or full-sized uh, dipole or infed. Uh, made them out about 40 feet up on the tower or a pole or a tree. The uh, radiator wire slopes down at an angle about 45 degrees. And uh, uh, doesn't take much space to install that way. And it's particularly useful for folks that don't have a lot of, a lot of space. And here we'll look at a photo that I took from their website showing the inside of the where the wire is tightly wound inside of the PVC. This is what helps physically shorten the length of the antenna. This makes it a great antenna for somebody that does not have the space to really stretch out wire for 160 or 80 meters. You'll configure this into a sloper is what they recommend about a 45 degree angle from about 40 50 feet up. Here you'll see this is the finished product. This is how you would receive it, all right? And you got a wire coming up, coming out by the hook at the top. This wire actually attaches to your tower or metal push-up pole, so you can ground it out. You also need a choke. But for more information on this antenna, go to cablehelp.com and check out more information that they have on their website. Well, there is the new antenna that I found. You may have seen it before, but I haven't. So I had to bring it to the channel to let you see it. Cable help antennas. Check them out. They will make custom antennas. If you got a special need, give them a call, shoot them an email or something. See what they might can work out for you. Stan told me that they even have currently an AM station on the air with one of their antennas while their main antenna gets repaired. That was pretty cool that he was able to make an antenna to keep a radio station on the air. Check them out and 73 thanks